So hey everyone and welcome back and today I'm going to be showing you how to do smooth scales in Premiere Pro just like this. You're going to need the Sapphire plugin but if you do have that installed, what you want to do is have your clips ready, I've got mine right over here. For me, each clip is 15 frames long and the first thing I'm going to do is search for the warp transform effect. So if I just head over to the effects panel, search up warp transform, drag on this effect onto the first clip. At the beginning, we're going to keyframe the Z dist to 0.5, head to the center of the clip. So for me, it'll be around seven keyframes in reset it to what it was originally so it'll be one and we're going to graph this click on the arrow next to the stopwatch and you're going to click on the second keyframe pull this handle to the left and down on the same level as the bar next to it on the right as you can see right there if it's too low or too high it's going to look very weird so you want to make sure it's on level right over there if you see a black outline around it all you need to do is just pull it up slightly to get rid of it also for the first keyframe you want to pull this to the left very slightly and pull it up a bit so now you've got a scale out we're going to make the scale in so head towards the end of the clip but one keyframe back so not right over here just one keyframe back and set it to something like 0.4 you're going to see this curve over here with the graph you want to create a bump on the right so if i click on the middle keyframe and pull this handle to the right you can see it creates the bump again make sure it's on level so just around let's say there i'm seeing the black outline once again so i'm just going to pull it up a little bit more so just about there i think there you go i'm also going to push this bump to the right side by clicking on this handle and pulling it to the right so i'm going to leave it around there and now it's going to scale in and scale out for the second clip add on the effect once again keyframe the z dist and set it to 1.1 you want to make sure to set the wrap x and the wrap y to reflect head to the center of the clip so it's around seven keyframes for me set it to 0.7 and we're going to graph this as well the same way we did for the first clip so click on the middle keyframe pull it to the left and make sure it's on level and then just pull this slightly to the left as well and slightly down previously we had to pull it up but because this bump goes down it like dips we need to pull it downwards since we are scaling in not scaling out it's going to be the other way around but anyways at the end of the clip just one keyframe back set it to 1.1 graph it towards the right pull the last keyframes handle to the right as well and a little bit up so around there and now as you can see you've got your basic scales so what you can do now is copy and paste it onto your other clips so i've got two other clips over here which don't have any anything on them. On the second clip it scales out so I'm just going to copy and paste the first one onto the third clip which will transition really well so it zooms out and then it follows along with the next clip. Copy the second clip's effect onto the last one and all together it's going to look like this. You can improve this by adding on the S shake effect but you want to add it on top of the warp transform effect and just copy down my settings. So for the amplitude leave it at one, frequency should be two. Open up the X shake and you want to set both of these to zero then it should go 20 and then 0 0.8 repeat this for the y shake as well so exactly what we did here we're going to do there so it should go 0 0 20 and then 0 0.8 ignore the z shake we're going to move on onto the tilt 0 0 and then 0 0.5 and then leave the tilt wave frequency at 0 0.5 as well you can now minimize this and also the warp transform effect right click on the shake effect and click on copy head over to the next clip right click paste and then make sure to place it on top of the warp transform effect so i'm just going to do that for the rest of the clips and once you are done you should get something that looks like this so yeah that's all you need to do thank you for watching have a great day and i'll see you next time so yeah peace